Here with NSU Associate Head Coach Jeff Moore. Coach, you get it, Stephen F. Austin here on Sunday. Um, in the non-conference, you make a lot of road trips. How important, how important is it to get teams like Louisiana Tech and Stephen F. Austin to come to your place? Yeah, those those games are, are few and far between, uh, especially in the last few years. And uh, to get, you know, quality opponents to come to Prather, that's something that uh, coaches, you know, definitely tried to get done. And it, it worked out this year. And, you know, Stephen F. is a quality team. We, we know them well. Coach Kyle Keller has done a great job with the program. They've got four uh, main guys back, returners. Um, big guy Kinsmill is, is a load. Um, but, you know, it's more about us at this point. We've, we've got some things that we've got to fix and, uh, you know, just finishing up early morning practice and, and watching some film and, and trying to correct some things that we've got to get better at as we move through the, through the season. You get about six days to, to finally catch your breath a little bit. Of course, the Thanksgiving holiday in there as well. Uh, guys get a little bit of time to spend with their families. Um, you know, what's, how do you approach this, um, I don't want to call it a long break because it's really not that long, right. but it's the longest you've had since the season has started. How do you kind of just take a breath and, and, and go through this week? I, I think you got to, uh, we can't just totally relax. We've got to make corrections and we got to use it to get better, you know, and, and take that time with no school going on. Um, although, you know, we, our guys still have school work from online classes and those things, but taking our time to get things fixed and working on us. I think that's the most important thing right now. We got to work on us um, to continue to grow as a team to get better. And, you know, offensively, this team has done some things. Uh, it feels like when uh, you need to make a run. You haven't been able to get those defensive stops to really put, to put those runs together. Just how does that impact a game when you're trying to climb back in, into game? I, you know, it just begin. You know, when that happens and you're just trading baskets, then guys are. You know, it's easy to hang your head. And one of the things we walked watched today and talked about in film is, hey, we're still okay. Like last night, with 10 minutes to go, we were still okay and in the game. And uh, we had some, some broken plays. We had six possessions or so when we didn't score, but we were still in striking distance. Um, and we just got to keep fighting through. You know, sometimes in basketball and life, things don't go our way and we've got to get our lunch pail and go back to work. And that's what we're doing. You know, I think we had a good morning this morning trying to get back. We'll get some things this afternoon and continue to move forward and, and uh, get Demon basketball where it's supposed to be. We talked about the starts to the games. It was a better start against ULM. Hit four of your first five. Um, you know, that, that, very much um, in the game there. It was the, the the last probably eight or nine minutes of that first half where ULM created separation. But just evaluating the start, did it feel like, especially it was it was kind of an empty arena, tough to create energy, but it felt like you, they started better. Yesterday. I thought our guys had a better approach to the start of the game, and we did some things that allowed us you know, I thought we ran the floor better. I thought our flow in our fast break was better into our offense, which allowed us to get some baskets. The, you faced teams with lots of, of big posts. At Kenneth Lofton and Louisiana Tech, you're going to see Gabe and Kinsmill <laughs> from SFA, you mentioned. Uh, of course, Larry and Kendall Owens or are, are, are Kendall Coleman are certainly um, guys that opponents look at. When you face that many big posts that have the skill that they do, does it make it a little bit easier to prepare for a Kinsmill? It does, you know, and, and we've got to continue to develop our inside-out game. And we've gone inside a lot, and we've got to continue to develop where it's, there's a balance between the two. You know, I think that's going to be a key for our team. Cedric Garrett kind of got back on track a little bit yesterday. Uh, but Terrence Reed is, is starting to score a little bit more. Um, you know, those guys and, and this continual mix of the, the newcomers and, and the old guys, is how, kind of, how is that process going along right now? I think we're learning more and more about each other, and those things take time. Um, the problem is there's not a lot of time in between games. And, you know, you mentioned earlier, you know, what can we do during this kind of – you know, break time, and that's just to become closer and learn more about each other and keep practicing and, and work out those kinks. Coach Jeff Moore, thank you very much. Yes, sir.